rock and roll reporting to you live from Moscow, Russia. Yes, that's right, folks, the heart of the evil empire. Just two, three weeks away from the Winter Olympic Games in Sochi, Russia, a disputed area near the Black Sea that some have said is too dangerous to attend. However, more pressing is the Russian law recently passed outlawing the proliferation of homosexual propaganda to children. Folks, the Russian government has said that it's okay for gay people to come and participate in the Olympics. Just keep that shit in the closet. Hey folks, don't be angry with me. I'm just a reporter. I don't make the news. I just report on it. But commentary time, I think it's kind of funny, isn't it? And often maybe ironic that Russia today, formerly known as the Soviet Union, a communist country where religion was banned, the Greek, uh, sorry, the Russian Orthodox Church is actually quite strong here. And surprise, surprise, unlike Western countries like the United States, when movie stars, rock stars, and so on and so forth came out in favor of gay rights, Russian movie stars, rock stars, and the beautiful people have come out to support the law, saying, hey, we all have gay friends, whatever they do in the privacy of their own home is fine, just keep that shit off the streets and leave our kids alone. Interesting, interesting turn of events, isn't it, folks? Interesting that the Russian intelligentsia or the Russian uh, entertainment class has actually come in favor, uh, come out, come out, uh, no pun intended, come out in favor of the law banning the spread of homosexual propaganda. Now, folks, let's just take a look at the history. It used to be that gay people said simply, leave us alone. And we pretty much left them alone. Then they said, we're queer, we're queer, and we're proud, and they started the whole demonstration process, the parades, the floats, here I am, I'm gay, I'm queer, whatever, whatever, right? And we tolerated that shit too. Now, the latest thing, they all want to get married, they all want to adapt your, adopt your kids, and what? And what? And what? Spread their little blah, blah, blah lifestyle. It's normal, it's okay, it's healthy, it's okay, it's fine. Folks, the homosexual propaganda has become its own religion. Obviously, being gay is anecdotal or anecdotable. <laughs> Whoa, English is not my native language anymore. Obviously, homosexuality has become a religion for some of these faggots. And to spread their hate, to spread their religion, they've become evangelists. And that's where the homosexual propaganda term has come from. It's no longer, leave us alone, we're gay, it's, we're gay, we're proud, and you should be gay too. Or, you know what, we're gonna F your kids, F your kids up. And that's not tolerated, not tolerable, not to be tolerated, and I can understand why. The beautiful Russian people have come out in support of this law, not necessarily anti-gay, but pro-normalcy. Well, folks, hold your rock and roll. One thing I wanted to point out. Pretty funny. Remember the Red Square, all the parades of the Red Square made this place look huge, humongous. By the way, this church over here, beautiful church, has room for maybe 20 people, 25 people, tops. It's pretty damn small. It's like a Lego set. And look at this thing up here. You see this cable? Up there is where they would have the camera, probably 100 meters high up into the air. So when they filmed down, all those trucks, missiles, jeeps, tanks coming through look huge. Really, Red Square is only about five highway lanes high. I'm sorry to bust the bubble on the Russian people and expose this, but that's what it is. It's basically five lane highway. That's it. It looks bigger on TV. <laughs> Do I? <laughs> Anyhow, hold your rock and roll. Until next time, stay warm and peace out.